a move of God coming to Kentucky. It's going to change the course of the land. Uh, a lot of times when I'm driving, I pray in tongues. And last night when I passed a little church, uh, 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 I heard the Holy Spirit say something to me. The Holy Spirit said, I'm going to call out the Paul Revere's in this day and hour that are going to warn my people and tell my people to get ready and to make clean the vessels because I'm about to pour out my glory over my church in a way that I have never poured it out before. They will go forth in my name and they will tell my people the glory is coming, the glory is coming, the glory is coming. This is not just so that you and I can feel the presence of God. There's always purpose behind God's presence. I'm preaching to pursuers because God is raising up pursuers here in Western Kentucky. We're living in the day and an hour when God ain't gonna use the big names and the big boys. God's gonna use a nobody from nowhere to bring a word from heaven. People of such conviction and passion toward the kingdom of God and greater than that, the king of the kingdom. God, let's do it. Let's have revival. Let's get you poured out on everyone that's involved. John 17 is being answered. And right now it's gonna continue to be answered as God pulls us together for a move of God that no building can hold and no man can control. God wants to show up and do what only God can do. And he's gonna do something that you're gonna to have to blame on him because can't nobody else do that. So why not here and why not now?